welcome back to our Let's Play of Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Um, we're going to pick up right where we left off with our save file here. This time around, we'll be taking on Mount Teapot. Ah, I missed. I was hoping to use that exploding ball to hit that uh, spiky seahorse and get rid of it, but no luck. That's okay. On this level, you're going to want to watch out for those birds that swoop from above, as well as the spiky seahorses coming from eh, every direction, really. There's one. Ha! I didn't uh, quite get out of the way in time. That's alright though. We want a different power up other than the bull hat. Because we're going to want to break through some of these blocks down on the bottom. So let's see if we can find a jet hat. I got that one. There's a little secret door. And in here we have a three up. Very nice. All right. Um, here's another door in here. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is a little raggedy tonight. This one has a save point and a little further up. Um, is an exit, which will take us up above the level. Now from here, we can actually, if we feel like it, jet over almost the entire level. As for what I want to do, I want to show you guys as much of the level as I can, so... Let's jet our way on back. Whoops. Now well, that's okay. I do know that there are more blocks, but no more secret doors uh, in that set of blocks. Because I was hasty and lost my power up, I uh, have to play this a little carefully. That's okay. That is no problem at all. I think there's one more bird. There we go. This part can be a little tricky, dodging those birds in the cave. But we made it! Now here's a nice little feature. If you go through the exit as small Wario, it's gonna transform me into big Wario. Sort of a free power-up, but you'll have had to have taken a hit to get there, so it's not that great of a thing. Still, convenient for heading into the next level. You'll notice here this one has a dot. We're going to take the secret exit first, but it actually leads to a whole new area. So we will be covering that other area in the next video, and just exclusively covering Mount Teapot today. I 
I always feel a lot more comfortable as one of the three fully upgraded Wario's. These guys you can bump from behind to knock them out. You definitely want that dragon hat. That's going to help a lot. Takes care of those birds like they're nothing. Also lets you get this crab guy pretty easily. And then we can switch to the jet. Now in here you're going to want to be careful because if you grab these mines and throw them they bounce around. They slide and bounce and go all over the place. So make sure they blow up somewhere away from you, unlike me. Don't be like me. Don't let that happen to you. Secret block there with some hearts. Save point up here, along with, hey, another jet hat. Very convenient. One more secret block there. And we're out of this place. Those pelicans spit out uh, more landmines or sea mines, which I find very annoying, so I like to just take the pelicans out as quickly as I can. As far as I know, these blocks down below have one secret. I might be misremembering, though. So if you hit the pelicans from below, they just uh, get stunned for a second. Gotta actually tackle them to get them out of there. Or if you have the dragon hat, that works too. Okay, I guess uh, there were no secrets behind those blocks after all. It's actually a little faster to swim than to use your jets underwater. are here more to be annoying than anything, I think, since you can pretty easily swim against them. Prime example right here, I'm just holding the A button, not doing anything special. And it's letting me go whatever way I want to. I'll be it a little slower if I'm going against the current. Okay, we're coming up on the secret exit, but I want to get these bad guys out of here first. Do your laugh, it's silly. <laughs> okay, these coins are a hint, they're pointing upwards. So let's go over here, where we can get a little higher, jump and use the jet. And look at that, secret exit. The normal exit is just down below this one. And so we're gonna have to see this level a second time. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda zoom through it though. Hey, we made our first thousand. All right. Um, what was this place called again? Sherbet Land, I think. It's a glacier, it's an ice level. Um, we'll do that, like I say, in the next video. Oops. Well, I better grab another power up to be safe.
can actually zoom through most of this game pretty quickly if you don't care about content or finding all the secrets, getting all the money. Though that sort of defeats the purpose of the game, to not get the best house at the end. Okay, thanks for bearing with me through the repeat of that level. This is going to let us move on and do the rest of Mount Teapot. Whoops. <laughs> that was my mistake. I was still in uh, zooming mode from getting through that last level. We're back to grabbing things mode. The struggle is real tonight. There we go. Oh, that one's just a save point. Okay. For some reason I thought there was uh, some uh, coins or something in there. one in the sake of time. Or for the sake of time. Let's save that power up just in case we need to come back for it. That one broken block there? That's important. We're going to come back to that here in just a minute. When there's a key. Or we have the key. We need to set this key down can tackle the block. And remember where it was, there's a secret door. But first of all, a hundred coins. But more importantly than that, a treasure. Alright, we found our second treasure, the harp. Those bomb guys will stick to you unless you jump directly on their head. And as bombs do, they'll explode. So it's good to uh, just knock them out.
Wario is now moving noticeably faster around those trees at the end of the stage. Definitely nice to not have to sit there and watch him walk for 30 seconds. I know it doesn't take 30 seconds, but it sometimes feels like it. This is an interesting course. It's good to pay attention to the layout of this course because it's going to change soon. After a certain event. Just a little ways down the line. Hey, excuse me? That was odd. He must have turned just as I touched him. If you are Jet or Dragon Wario, so don't grab that power up there, you can actually come in here. For some extra coins and a heart. I don't think there's anything up here. No, I just stick in the ceiling. Okay. Since you can't crouch walk in the water, you have to be small Wario to come in here. Plus, there's a jet hat. Let me just get our power up right back. And a different one than we had before, but this one works better underwater to grab those last hearts. And then we'll head on upwards. And I do like to have the dragon hat for this part. of Mount Teapot. In here we have a save point and some coins. Last time I tried to jump for these coins, uh, I messed it up and died, so I just wanted to show you guys where they are. I'm not actually going to try for it. jet hat right about now. Or the dragon hat. I showed you last time. That's what I did just there. And now I'll have to do it another three times. Thank you. 
Boy, I look silly. All of that, and there were no secrets in there. I apologize for wasting your time. My memories of this game are strong, but not completely perfect, so it feels like I'm re-exploring it every time that I play. Okay, I jump on him, grab the rope ladders, and head to safety. a little funky on this one. I suppose that's the downside of uh, not playing on an official Game Boy, if you catch my drift. I do have a physical copy of this game, so I feel justified in owning and playing this the way that I do. In fact, I'm almost certain it's the same copy I had when I was a little kid. I don't think I sold that one and rebought it over the years. I think this is one that I stubbornly held on to because I loved it so much. Plus, it was a gift from a friend of mine. She didn't want her Game Boy and her games anymore, so uh, she gave them to me. You know, as little kids do, or did back in the 90s. You may notice there are places like with that last seahorse where I don't go for every single coin. I think uh, when in doubt it's best to leave a coin or two unclaimed and not cost yourself the time and effort of having to do it over again. Okay, here's an interesting bit of this level. We're gonna have to go back and forth to climb up this uh, double cliff setup. I don't know what to call it exactly, because there's a treasure room over there. And the key is here. I'm gonna wanna get that key as close as possible. Then from here we can throw upwards. This one's a crown. C for crown. Although the other two don't match up. A for goblet? Horn? I don't know. B for harp? Or lyre? Hmm? C for crown. Hmm. One for three. As usual, I'm going to be overconfident and choose not to use the save point. Or the resume point, I should say. These guys are an interesting foe. The arrow that's on their feet points the direction they will take you. If you jump, it goes around clockwise. But there's spikes up top, so you're going to want to watch out uh, for those and jump very small. Just a light tap of the A button will do the trick. Here we go.
you can be pretty efficient if you've practiced with them as much as I have. <laughs> okay, here's a rare treat. There's not many Starman items in this game, but here's one of them. And when you're invincible, every enemy that you touch gives you 11 hearts. was open for us. How nice. Two more levels left for Mount Teapot. And one of them's sort of a repeat. These chickens are pretty nice. If you throw an enemy into the loop on their head, they'll drop 30 coins for you. The timing on that one's a little weird. I've never gotten it quite perfect. Spawn. As long as you don't actually knock them out, they'll keep coming back. So you can get a lot of money off these guys. Ooh, I don't think I can make that jump as little Wario. And I'm pretty sure those chickens don't do any damage at all, so you can just go ahead and jump on them when you're done. Uh, taking advantage of their coin output. I'd like to check those other boxes down there to see if there's a hat power-up, but so be it. There we go. Those other enemies I knocked out, uh, unfortunately, won't be coming back. But if you have the time and patience to sit here and grind out this level... Well, I think you see how quickly my coins are going up. them. Sure enough, they drop one more coin and give you the heart for knocking them out. A random little ghost guy. So here's where Wario's bullhorns come in handy. You can jump and stick on these conveyor belts like so. safe passage across. Those duck guys are not dangerous unless they actually throw their boomerang. Here he's throwing a boomerang. Okay, time for a big change. When I was a kid, I always liked to pretend that uh, this is making the volcano erupt. But really, it's just bringing down the lid onto the teapot. 
I always thought it's like, oh, the volcano's erupting and knocking the uh, UFO out of the sky, but yeah, not really. It's fun to pretend. I gave some sage advice back in my Kirby playthrough. I'll give you some here too. It's fun to pretend, even as an adult. Um, so anyway, if we come back in here, this is now course 13. Uh, and this is that other course that we went through earlier, but with some pretty drastic changes. So sticky bombs. See, he sticks there and blows up. Excuse me. A lot of the contents of this level give me a sense of urgency. The bombs that'll explode in a couple seconds. The seahorse is going through the water really, really quickly. I don't know, I guess like uh, your tea is. Or your water is boiling and ready for tea? Is that what they were going for? Who knows? a rare time where I'm going to not want the dragon hat. Um, eventually, it's usually probably my favorite of the three. Oops, did not mean to put up a coin. But for this upcoming boss fight, the bull hat is just a million times better. So the rest of this route is completely sealed off. In here is our friend the save point. Which I'm actually going to use because sometimes, sometimes, this boss gives me a little bit of trouble. Two, three, four. This is the one that I want. That route has the most coins in it. pretty smoothly. Okay, sweet! That was one of my uh, best fights with that boss ever, like, all time. I think I've managed to do him in one hit and one throw before, but that was real solid. I feel good about that. Also, that wraps up Mount Teapot. So it's going to send us down to the next area here, which is Stove Canyon, but that's not where we're going. We're going to go and do the optional Yakta. <clears throat> Excuse me again. You have to actually come into Mount Teapot in order to access this other map before you've cleared it. And that's what we'll do next time. So yeah, thanks as always for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this, and let me know what, uh, what your favorite course is so far with a comment. Alright, thanks. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.